Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First, I'm going to be taking my MAC Single Eyeshadow in the color Wedge and placing that all over their crease just as a transition shade. Then I'm going to take my ColourPop Single Eyeshadow in the color K-Pop Wilshire. It's just a warm matte shade i don't really like this eyeshadow that much so i wouldn't recommend it but just any warm neutral shade and also place that in the crease then i'm going to take my jeffree star skin frost in the shade onyx ice and i'm going to take that on a flat synthetic brush and the brush i spray uh, spray with my um mac carbon water first just to get it wet and then i'm going to place the highlighter all over my eye avoid placing it in the crease though because then we'll blend it out and i don't like to put like black up in the crease so just place it just on the lid area Then after I place the highlighter on the lid, I'm going to go into the Morphe 35K palette and I'm going to take this dark gray, like a warm, not a warm, a cool tone gray color and start blending that into my crease. Then from the same palette, I'm going to take this warm brown shade, it's the top right color, and then I'm going to also start blending that into the crease. Then after you blend all that into the crease, I'm just going to re-intensify and place more of the onyx ice on the lid because it gets kind of like muted out, so I'll just place it more on the, it, the lid, and I'll also take some with my finger because I really want it to be like shimmery and highlighty, you know? Then taking the 35K one more time, I'm going to take the transition shade in there. It's like a yellowy tan shade and I'm going to blend that into the crease just to like lighten up the color a little bit. Then I'm going to take that white shade in that palette and use it as a brow bone highlight. Then I'm going to just apply a wing eyeliner using my NYX black eyeliner. Then I'm just going to stop working on the eyes and move on to the face and then go back to the eyes after. And I'm going to first take my Pond's Dry Face Cream Moisturizer or Lotion, whatever, and just rub that in all over my face. Then I'm going to take my Becca Under Eye Corrector and just to place it under the eyes to fix my dark circles. Then I'm going to use my Milani 2-in-1 foundation and dot that all over my face and then blend it in using a foundation brush. Then I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and blend that in with a beauty, ben beauty blender. I can never say that. But when I do my concealer, I do one eye and then blend it out and then set it because my eyes crease like very, very, very easily. So I'll set that eye and then move to the next one to avoid creasing. Curious, baby, you should take it 
Then I let that face powder bake for a little bit and I'll brush it off and then I'm going to take my Kiko Milano 100 bronzer and just contour and bronze up my face. I'm gonna take my Kiko Milano 106 blush and this blush was broken so like when I used it like I picked up like a lot of powder and I just had to blend it out like very good like you could see like there was way too much so don't use as much as me and I then I'm gonna highlight using this makeup revolution bake highlighter in the color golden lights now moving back to the eyes, I'm going to take the matte color wedge and start blending that beneath the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go and take that same brown shade from the 35K and also blend that under the eye. Taking the same gray shade from the 35K, I'm going to take this on an angled brush and place this just on the lash line beneath the eye. Then I'm going to take this gray foiled shade from the Morphe 35K and place that in the inner corners. And then I'm also going to take an Urban Decay Illuminator and place that in the inner corners and just a little bit on the eyelid. Then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and coat the top and bottom lashes. I always do this after I apply false lashes already. Now moving on to the lips, I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Kind Majesty and then I use the lip liner from the shade Dead of Night I think and I just outline my lips and then I fill it in with the Kind Majesty. Now I'm just going to set my face using my MAC Carbon Water and then that's it for this look and this is the eye look that I decided to create using the Jeffree Star Onyx Ice Highlighter. I wouldn't really use it as a highlighter, I would use it more for like smoky eyes but you can use it whatever way you choose to but this is it. Please subscribe and like to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!